In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up a custom domain with a website that you have hosted on Vercel. Before we start, I will assume you already have a Vercel account and you have your website uploaded already. And what you do should look something like this. So to start, click on our project, click on domains here. In the box here, just type in the custom domain that you want, then click add. And here, just look through the options, but I will just do the recommended option and click add. If you are setting up a custom domain name that starts with three W's, you will now see two different records here. However, if I added my custom domain and it started with test.mydomain.com, I would only see this record down here and not this record up here. So just to recap, if we are setting up a custom domain that starts with three W's, then you would need to follow the instructions here as well as down here. But if we are only setting up a custom domain that starts with anything else, then you will only need to follow the steps here. Now you can log into your domain provider where you purchase a domain and go to the DNS settings. In this specific tutorial, I'll be using Google domains, but these steps will work with any domain provider. Going to Google domains, I will now click on my domain here and then click on DNS on the left hand side. If you are not using Google domains, just Google the steps of how to modify your DNS records for your specific domain provider. But regardless of which domain provider you're using, once you go to DNS settings, the page should look similar to this, where you can create new records for your DNS. Once you're on this page, if we just go back to Vercel, we just need to copy the value that you see here and then go back to our DNS records. And then for the host name, just leave it blank here, select A, and then for TTL, just leave it as the default value. And then for data, we can just paste in the IP address that we just copied and hit save. Then we can go back to Vercel and do one more step. And that's copying the value here. And then go back to our DNS records and then just adding a new record by clicking create new record here. And here just type in www if that's the custom domain that you want to set up. If you want to set up a different subdomain, just type in the value here. And then for type, just click CNAME leave the TTL as a default value. And then for data, just type in or paste in the value that we just copied and hit save. Going back to Vercel, we should now see that the invalid configuration error message that we saw earlier is gone and now it says valid configuration. Now we just need to wait a few minutes for our changes to take effect and I'll resume the video once that process is complete. It has been about five minutes and when I click on my custom domain, you can see it's now working properly. That is the end of this Vercel custom domain tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.